In this video, I'm going to clearly explain what variance is in statistics. If you find this content useful, then please let me know by giving it a like on the video or dropping me a comment below. And without further ado, let's get into it. What is variance? The actual definition of variance is the average of the squared differences from the mean. To explain what this actually means, let me give you a simple example to show how it is calculated. Say I have a sample of six dogs, and I've measured their weights in kilograms. So the weights are 10, 12, 13, 17, 20, and 24 kilograms. The mean value for this would be the sum of all these values divided by the number of data points, or dogs, which is six. Doing so returns a mean of 16 kilograms. In the next step, we need to take each of these data points and work out how far away it is from the mean value. So let's take the first dog, which weighed 10 kilograms. Here I would work out 10, subtract 16, which is negative 6. The next dog weighed 12 kilograms, so 12 subtract 16 would give negative 4. And this process is repeated for the rest of the data points. The next step in calculating the variance is to square each of these newly created values. So if we take dog 1, negative 6 multiplied by negative 6 becomes 36. And dog 2, negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 becomes 16. And again, this is done for all of the values. And it's worth noting here that because we are squaring these values, all variance values will end up being positive you cannot get a negative variance value. Next, you have to add up all of these squared values together. And doing so for this example gives a value of 142. For the final step, we need to divide this value by the number of data points in the test, which is six for this example, and then subtract one. Doing so gives five. So we divide the answer by five. And it's worth mentioning that this process slightly differs if you have to calculate the variance of a population. And I'll go into a bit more detail about this later on in the video. So for the final step, to calculate the variance for this particular sample, we do 142 divided by 5. Doing so gives a variance value of 28.4. And if you remember from the start of the video, the definition of variance is the average of the squared differences from the mean. So this, in fact, is what this number represents. But what does the 28.4 actually mean? Because we squared the values earlier on in the calculation, it actually means the units of variance are squared. So for my example, the units will be kilograms squared. And since the units of variance are squared, it makes it challenging to interpret the actual value against our data, because our data are just in kilogram units. Now usually researchers often use the standard deviation rather than the variance to describe the spread of the data. The standard deviation is simply calculated by taking the square root of the variance. So if we take our example, we can work out the standard deviation by square rooting 28.4, and doing so gives a value of 5.3. And because we square rooted the value, we have also square rooted the units. This means the unit for the standard deviation is back to the original units we started with. In this example, they are just kilograms. And since the units are the same as our data, we can plot it onto our graph. Here is our graph again. The mean value of 16 is represented by this red column. The actual data points or scatter plot are shown by the blue circles as before. Now usually the standard deviation is plotted above and below the mean value to show the spread of the data. So the line above the mean represents 16 plus 5.3, which is 21.3. The line below the mean represents 16 subtract 5.3, which is 10.7. A large standard deviation value indicates a high variability from the mean. On the other hand, if our data points were closer to the mean value, this would reduce the variance and the standard deviation. Earlier on in the video, I mentioned that there are some small differences when calculating the variance for a sample and a population. If you don't know the difference between a sample and a population, then I suggest that you check out my other video on this topic. Here is the equation we recently used to calculate the variance of a sample. And if you're wondering what this symbol is, it just means the sum of. 
And here is the equation used to calculate the variance of a population. Do you notice any differences here? The process is exactly the same apart from the denominator. Specifically, when you calculate the variance of a sample, you divide by n subtract 1. Whereas in the population, this is just n. This n subtract 1 is actually known in statistics as Bessel's correction. And it is used when calculating the variance of a sample in order to correct for some bias. So just keep this slight difference in mind when you're looking at calculating the variance. And that brings me to the end of this video. You should now know what the variance is and how it is calculated for a sample as well as a population. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.